So, in my last video, I talked about um, planning my image a little bit, and I printed that image off, okay? So I've got my image here, and I want now to get this image somehow onto my linoleum block for my print. Um, I could just draw on this block. I could take um, a pen and just draw right on it. I could take a pencil and draw right on it. Um, I could take a permanent marker, like a Sharpie marker, and draw right on it. I have noticed that with Sharpie, sometimes the ink will break down the ink of the Sharpie, and that will print on your image. So I tend to not use a Sharpie marker. Um, but again, a pen would be great. Notice, though, that I've got a pretty detailed image here, so it's going to be hard to draw it all perfectly maybe where I want it. So if I had a more exact transfer method, that would be great. So I'm going to show you two options. The first is this. It's carbon paper. It's two different colors, so it's lighter on the back, and on the one side is there's kind of this surface of carbon that you'd like, the graphite that you'd find on your pencil. You can see how it turned my thumb kind of hard to see there. Turned my thumb kind of dark where I rubbed. Um, okay, so I can use that to transfer my image. So what I'll do is take my linoleum block and I actually marked here um, top so I could see my top of my image. And I used um, just a pen, and you can see the lines where I marked off um, where the edge of my block is going to be. Okay, so I can set my block on the table. I can put this carbon paper, um, carbon side down against my linoleum block, and then I'm going to line up this image right at the corner. I'm going to use my fingers to kind of feel where is the corner of the block and I'm going to line it up with the corner of my image that I marked here. So this is kind of a little bit of a feeling process. Um, I could go through and tape this as well, especially the first time you do it, that might be good. Now, I don't want to do a lot of rubbing because the pressure against this carbon paper is what's going to transfer it onto my linoleum block. So I'm just going to take kind of lightly a pencil or um, a pen. Either one is fine. Um, I think for the purposes of this video, I'm going to do a blue pen because it'll just be easier for you to see. Normally, I would just use my pencil. But I'm going to kind of outline some of these parts of my image just so I can see where things are. And this is kind of a slow process. I'm kind of going back and forth over objects. See how I go back and forth on those lines? Um, to get sort of my images, my edges of my objects in place. Okay? And I can be as detailed as I want. I could actually write in here light and dark. I can go back and do that on my image later too. But so I've outlined some of these. Let's go ahead and look. If I peel up my transfer paper, you'll see right where that went right through. Okay? Okay, so you might say, well, that was really cool where you had your image with the carbon paper, but I don't have any carbon paper at home, so that won't work for me. Well, let me show you something else because you can kind of make your own carbon paper. Um, what I did was just take a simple piece of charcoal, and I will move my block off to the side, and then I just got a piece of typing paper, and I can literally just color right on my typing paper, my computer paper, with a piece of charcoal. And I'm going to color a square about as big as my image is going to be. I've got a 
nice kind of charcoaly square. Now I'm going to kind of shake off the excess. I'm going to go over the garbage and kind of blow and just get the excess dust off. So off screen, I blew off that excess dust, shook off the excess dust, and I basically made myself a nice little sheet of transfer paper. I can put my image back down. Um, this is not quite as clean as the carbon paper, but works nicely as well. So I'm going to put this charcoal side down on my linoleum block. I'm going to do the same process as before where I kind of feel where is the corner of my image and it's kind of right up here. I'm going to line that up with the corner that I marked on my picture. I do that on both sides. Kind of just, and it's just sort of a feeling process to make sure I'm getting the corner. It's a little harder because the um, computer paper is a little stiffer than that carbon paper was. Again, I'm going to hold this in place, and I'll go down at the bottom and show you. So same process. Um, if I'm going to, say, draw out this line of this post, and I'm kind of using a little bit of pressure back and forth. Maybe draw in my horizon line here. And we can kind of peek and see what did that do. Very nice, eh? So you can kind of see the difference here. This is the lines I did with the charcoal. This is the lines I did with the carbon paper. This one's just a little light, cleaner, sharper, harder edges, but this works just as well, um, and you can make it at home quick and easy. So go ahead and transfer your whole drawing, and then you can go to the next video to learn how to carve.